Vaccination is a very interesting one because some people benefit tremendously in personal health from the vaccine. The community benefits from the vaccine, but a substantial minority of individuals don't. Unfortunately, the people who don't get the vaccine aren't the ones who have done this rational calculation. They're the people who just don't trust doctors or the, you know, the establishment or whatever. So when you publish something saying, hmm, you know, yeah, there really is a danger with this vaccine for some people, that for some people might make them not want to do it. Um, you end up getting a lot of people who should have the vaccine not to do it. And, and, and you probably don't reach the people who should. The extreme of this was the advice for the COVID vaccine uh, for pregnant women, right? It had never been tested onto pregnant women when it came out. It would take years to know if it caused developmental difficulties in children. It took five years to figure out thalidomide was causing these problems. Now, thalidomide uh, um, birth defects were gross and obvious. And, and by the way, the public health establishment fought uh, this. It was a, you know, a doctor in Australia, just an ordinary doctor in Australia who kept, you know, you know, worked through the pressure, kept insisting and eventually got people to realize the terrible damage from this drug. So we're only now learning that it probably was safe for pregnant women. Uh, you know, we now have children who are four and five years old whose mothers got the vaccine when they were pregnant, and we don't see any uh, noticeable increase in birth defects or, or um, developmental difficulties and things like that.